Thank you. I yield to myself such time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. I rise today in support of House Resolution 600 uh, to extend my gratitude to Chairman Royce and to urge my colleagues' support as well. This Saturday, the people of Afghanistan will travel to the polls to elect a new president in a runoff election. The victorious candidate will replace Hamid Karzai, who has led Afghanistan since 2001. House Resolution 600 recognizes this important moment in history and urges the government of Afghanistan to pursue a transparent, credible, and inclusive runoff presidential election while ensuring the safety of voters, candidates, poll workers, and election observers. So far, the U.S. government has contributed more than $100 million toward the 2014 Afghanistan election, and numerous United States and coalition soldiers have sacrificed their lives in efforts to secure Afghanistan and prepare it for this crucial moment, a peaceful transition of power. I think that it's important to recognize these facts, and that's part of what House Resolution 600 seeks to do. On April 5th, the government of Afghanistan held its first round of a presidential election in which almost 60 percent of the eligible voters participated. Now, according to the Afghan Constitution, because no single candidate claimed more than 50 percent of the vote, a runoff election between the top two candidates will be held. The first round of elections were promising in terms of increased voter turnout, no civilian deaths in attacks on Election Day, and a quick certification of results in order to set the stage for a runoff election, but more work remains to be done. Votes from 331 polling stations were invalidated and removed from the final tabulations. Reports of voter and election monitor intimidation persist. Reports of attempts to bribe election monitors have occurred. Reports of SMS and texting capabilities be, being suspended on Election Day exist. Concerns remain about the lack of transparency in the activities of the Afghan Independent Election Commission and the Electoral Complaints Commission. Seventeen members of the Afghan National Security Forces were killed in attacks on Election Day, and female voter participation and protection remains at a level below what Afghans enjoy. In light of these issues, House Resolution 600 commends the government of Afghanistan for holding the first round of elections and scheduling a second, expresses support for a credible, inclusive, and transparent runoff election, supports the mandate of Afghan electoral bodies to prevent voter fraud and misconduct, encourages the government of Afghanistan to implement measures that will increase voter participation, particularly among Afghan females, and urges security forces to continue to provide protection to vulnerable areas of the country during the election period, as well as recognizing the sacrifices of those forces that have contributed and will continue to contribute to the security and stability of Afghanistan. This is an exciting time for Afghanistan, Mr. Speaker, and this election is an important one. American forces have been in Afghanistan now for a decade, and most of them are now coming home. This election will be crucial in proving to the world that Afghanistan is ready again to chart its own course and to provide its own security. I wish the Afghan people well in this endeavor, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman